Six million years ago, in what is now Central Africa, the first recognizable steps in the long journey of human evolution quietly began. The world was very different then. A mosaic of forests, open woodlands, and expanding savannas, shaped by a gradually cooling climate. These shifting landscapes marked the beginning of a major transformation, one that would slowly draw our ancestors out of trees and onto two feet. In this environment, a species known as Sahelanthropus cadensis emerged. They were not yet human, but they were no longer just another ape. Their faces were flat, their brow ridges prominent, and their brains small, roughly the size of a modern chimpanzee. Yet there is evidence that they may have walked upright at least part of time marking a crucial evolutionary milestone. Bipedalism, though not fully developed, had begun to take shape. Life for Salanthropus cadensis was harsh and uncertain. As scavengers and opportunistic foragers, they depended on a sharp awareness of their environment. Their days were spent moving through broken terrain, shifting between tree cover and open spaces, searching for fruit, insects, roots, and occasional small prey. There were no tools as we know them, but the earliest forms of object manipulation had likely started. Sticks used a probe, stones used a crack. Predators lurked everywhere. Big cats, snakes, and ancient cannons ruled the landscape. The danger came not only from the animals they shared the land with, but also from the elements. Sudden dust storms, intense heat, and unpredictable rain. In this fragile world, survival meant sticking close to group, remaining quiet, and moving with caution. Communication was non-verbal. A glance, a gesture, a subtle shift in posture passed silently across generations. Although they lived in small bands, Salanthropus cadensis relied heavily on social bonds. Grooming was more than just hygiene. It was a vital ritual of trust and cooperation. Their movements were slow, deliberate, and instinct-driven, yet they showed signs of curiosity and pattern recognition. They watched the skies. They tracked other animals. They noticed when fire appeared on the horizon, perhaps fearfully, perhaps with fascination. As forests thinned and grasslands spread, the world they knew demanded adaptation. Each step out of the forest and into open terrain brought both opportunity and peril. But those steps mattered. The act of standing upright, even occasionally, allowed them to see further, carry food, and eventually free their hands. These small behavioral shifts would, over millions of years, set the stage for tool use, cooperation, language, and the dawn of culture. What remains of Salanthropus cadensis is fragmentary. A few skulls, scattered teeth, hints left in the soil. But their legacy is profound. They were among the first to navigate the tension between safety in the trees and risk on the ground. Theirs was not a story of dominance. It was one of survival, of adaptation, and of quiet beginnings. Here, in the golden light of Africa's Miocene sunset, the roots of humanity took hold, fragile, unsure, and unseen. But they were real, and they were the first.